All right, what's up, f**kits? Welcome to a brand new video. So anyways, I kind of wish I recorded this experience. I'm gonna give a little, little bit of a disclaimer here, first of all. Don't go out and attack this person. It's just like a little quirky video. So you're gonna think I'm a total weirdo by the end of this video. But I had this really bizarre experience about a week ago, I want to say. It's been a little while. This guy hasn't gotten back to me since, but wow. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna love this one, guys. So anyways, one of my online friends, like, we haven't talked in, like, a year, maybe? Like, we kinda talk, but not much. We barely even really know each other. He, he comes up to me online, so figuratively, and he's like, Hey, can you, can you get in my Discord call? I, I need to talk to you about something important, so I get in. I'm like, hello, hello, and I hear him like talking to himself, and he's like, oh, oh, what? And he, he gets in, and then he just immediately starts up like a used car salesman, like voice and all. Hey, Mr. Kramer, this is Langston from Regal View. I didn't catch you at the wrong time, did I? Marketing this furry globalist group. And he's talking about, like, how he loves my videos and stuff. And it's like, I don't think you even watch my videos. Alright, it's the first fucking episode of the Cuck Shack. It's the Cuck Shack. Y you know, I really hope Cabier asked to be drawn that slutty. If you're marketing this to me, because anyone in their right mind who watches my videos knows this is the exact opposite of what I'd want to do. And, and then he goes on and on about like how we need to unify people. And then I'm just like, um, I'm kind of an individualist. I don't know if that's an actual term, but I believe people like group up too much and we need to like have some sort of identity of our own. Um, but he's endorsing this mob, essentially. Like, oh, we need to mob up. Get these fools for wrong think, and it's like... Sure thing! Like, you've got my politics completely wrong. I'm- I've definitely said I'm, like, in the middle, and I still think I kind of am. So I'm not a globalist. I don't know if he's trying to, like, change my mind, trying to pull a fast one on me. <laughs> but he's offering me money to advertise his globalist thing. I'm like, I don't think that would fly with my viewers. Justin Trudeau, or Prime Minister, is quite a joke, and I would kill, not literally, but I would love to have someone more like Donald Trump running our country. Okay, I don't think that'd fly, first of all. And he's like, no, no, this is great. Like, cause I told him, like, he's like, how's your YouTube channel doing? I'm like, not that great. I got demonetized. I'm like $20,000 in debt. And he's like, great. And I'm just like, oh crap. Like, this guy, you call yourself my friend. Great, you're desperate. Now you're going to have to listen to me. So anyways, he goes on and on for like an hour and a half, like not even stopping to take a breath. So I can't even get a single word in. And when I do, he just flat out ignores me and keeps rambling on. It, it's not even relevant most of the time. It's just these silly things he's saying like, oh, I'm in touch with Hollywood, and I said Hollywood because I'm a big fan of BoJack Horseman. It's not a big deal to watch BoJack Horseman. Doesn't make you like some savant who should be be followed as a business partner. Especially when I barely even know you and you barely know me and you're acting like you know everything about me. And also when he found out I was Canadian, he told me, wow, that's hot. No wonder why I'm so into you. And he started talking about his fiance, so yeah. <laughs> First of all, you might be saying like, whoa, whoa, fizzle. D don't you want to calm down a bit? What if he watches this video? I don't think he will. Even if I title it The Z. I mean, I have videos on my channel like, fizzle is transphobic? Uh, Trump's right, let him rot? A and he still contacted me about this, so I don't think he's even viewed my channel, really. So, um, he, anyways, he goes on and on and on, and just off on these random tangents, and just keeps going and going, and like, 
we're gonna be billionaires. This is like a radio station. And by the end of it, I still had no idea what this pitch was. Like, what, what he was running, what this is. Just, I guess it's a radio station that he tried to sell to TV, and that offer didn't go through. But, honestly, how would you put this on TV? What even is this? They have radio on the TV, I guess? I don't know, did TV still around? Like, I, I think TV's pretty much dead at this point, or it's on, on its last dying breaths. So, I don't know what his overall goal is, but he claimed... This is the real big part, okay? The the Z, he claimed the Z had a following of 70,000 people, that it had 70,000 subscribers, okay? And I found his Twitter, I, ch I went through the Z, there's like 20 people in the Z, in uh, the Discord group anyways, I don't know if there's some separate site, but I found his Twitter, which seems to be what he is talking about. And I think it has like 70,000 views and that's what he's claiming are subscribers, but that's a completely different thing. Saying subscriber means followers, like people who actually listen to you. And, and I, I knew he was full of it because he claimed that the entire Republican Party, the entire Democratic Party, and the President of the United States of America were subscribers. I was like, uh, are, are you serious? I checked out his Twitter. He tweeted... He tweeted Donald Trump saying, Hey, you're not doing the right thing. Maybe do the right thing. And it's like... Yeah, I... I highly doubt he read that. I highly doubt he read that, let alone is a subscriber of your globalist movement. <laughs> yeah, I talked to my buddy Ren about this. It's just like a, a fake it till you make it scenario. It's kind of bizarre. I don't know why he came to me. I don't know why he can't just kickstart this thing himself. Um, I, I don't know why he came to me, considering I'm like the polar opposite of him. <laughs> it's really bizarre. It's just like he doesn't even know who I am, essentially, is the long and the short of it, I think. H how would that look? Like, with all my videos, and then just selling out to someone who's had no success in the past, who's just claiming I'll make tons of money off of this thing that doesn't even make sense, that pushes views that are the polar opposite of mine. And then I told him, like, okay, I've got to go to work now. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then I'm just like, maybe next time I'll get a word in. And he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, it's just that no no one has uh, taken me up on the offer. Everyone's rejected it. It's like, gee, I wonder why. Like, immediately you just sound like, Oh, hi, I'm so-and-so on behalf of the Z, and I am marketing this for you, and it's a great opportunity, especially if you're in debt. You'll make tons of money, and it's just like, Buddy, you, you sound worse than one of those scammers who calls you up on the phone. So today I'm announcing the X, a furry Nazi movement. But honestly, there's not much else to talk about, and I'm demonetized anyway, so I don't need to hit the 10 minute mark anymore. But have a great day, everybody. Stay salty.